Hello all, welcome to another video of LLM series. So in this video, we will go to the core concepts behind decoder based LLM. So decoder based LLMs are like chat GPT or Llama 2. So the decoder based LLMs basic task is to uh, generate the next token based on the previous token that has been already there in the sequence, right? And uh, how the decoder based LLMs generate this next token is based on random sampling technique using this three core concepts or either of these three core concepts like temperature, top P and top K. So I will switch back between uh, the co the concepts to code and each of the things I will first explain what is the core concept behind that and we will try to see what is the code using a plain NumPy implementation, right? So let's get started with temperature. So with temperature equals to zero, right? So for an example, say that we have a sentence, a sequence of tokens, which is like Palm 2 is a model of family, right? And based on that, your uh, decoder based LLM will predict the next token, right? So the next tokens which are available for sampling are like this, right? I, boy, hello, uh, LLM, NLP and Ngram. And each of this has an associated logit with this. So logit is nothing but uh, so in case of uh, logistic regression, right? So logit is nothing but the when we do the linear operations like W transpose plus W transpose X plus B, then we get the output as logit. Then we pass the logit to an activation function and we get the further outputs uh, after that, right? So here the logits are like this. So logits can have any values like starting from one to three and higher the logits value, uh, higher the probability is, right? So logits are generally unnormalized in nature. So they can be of any value starting from minus infinity to plus infinity. And uh, what we use is we use softmax in case of multi-class classification. So in case you don't know softmax, I uh, discussed it in one of my uh, videos for deep learning with PyTorch series. I will uh, give the link of this video in the description of this video. So uh, first, what we need to do is we will calculate the probability using softmax. Right. So once we calculate the probability based on softmax, so these are the outputs will look like after uh, like normalizing the probability using softmax. Right. So uh, the LLM with highest logit will have highest probability value and I with logit value of one will have the lowest probability value and this sum of this probability value will be equals to one. So here the values may not match because I have eliminated few of the decimal points, but if you take the full decimal points, then the uh, sum of each of these probability values will be equals to one, which is a true nature of a probability distribution, right? So once we have that, what we need to do is we will select one token randomly out of this, right? So the token which is associated with the highest probability value which is like uh, p value equals to 0 0.72 so that will have the highest probability so whenever you will do sampling randomly out of this all the tokens it's uh, more or less you will get the llm as a next token prediction right so this temperature zero is nothing but uh, softmax uh, simply applying softmax on the available tokens and then doing a random sampling on the uh, based on the probability of this each of these tokens right now with this concept let's see how the temperature with higher value looks like so if i select a temperature of 0 0.9 uh, then uh, the next tokens will be uh, similar values with the same logit values which i have shown in the last uh, slide so after that you will again calculate the probability using softmax but this time your softmax will be with a temperature based uh, temperature based probability value right so uh, this is how the values of probability looks like after using a softmax with temperature based probability so here the values of the probability values change slightly and uh, th these are the output which looks like after using the softmax with temperature based probability. So we, uh, we will try to see this what this uh, softmax with temperature based probability is in terms of code uh, and that time your concept will be much more clear. But after this we do the same thing 
we select one of the tokens randomly out of this all the tokens which are available based on the change value so previously uh, it might be the case uh, some of the tokens were with uh, small probability values now it got slightly increased so uh, there is a kind of randomness uh, stochasticity while doing the sampling using this token so it may happen that you can uh, for each iteration you will get different type of tokens um, using this with a higher temperature so when the temperature is low or temperature equals to zero then the outputs are more deterministic in nature and uh, when that uh, temperature is uh, higher there is a lot of creativity uh, involved while generating the new token and uh, you can get different type of tokens uh, using a higher temperature okay now let's go and see how the code looks like using a plain python or numpy so I will switch to the coding window. OK. So here if you see this is how the uh, the formula looks like simple softmax is this which we already are uh, aware and in case of temperature we have a temperature value which is nothing but theta. So we divide the logit values with theta. Uh, in both uh, denominator and numerator and based on that we calculate the temperature. So at first I have created a function. So this function is nothing but a softmax implementation where based on the temperature I am doing uh, uh, if a, if an else condition, right? So here it's a simple softmax calculations where we are just normalizing the values between 0 to 1 and then we are returning the probability. Here if you look closely, the only thing that is different is this part. So we are uh, dividing our logits by the temperature value. And then we are doing the rest of the operations, which is similar to softmax, right? So with this, with the help of this function, we will try to implement uh, the temperature based random sampling, right? So just, just to give you an example, like how uh, when you divide a number with uh, a temperature, how this, how it looks like, right? So when the value of a variable is equals to one then if you take the exponent of it the value is 2.71 and if you just divide this value of 0 0.9 the value changes and it got increased to 3.03 right so this is how the temperature plays a crucial role by changing the probability values and it brings more randomness uh, while selecting the random token right now what I am doing is I have created another function where uh, the inputs are like logits, the words, the temperature which I am passing uh, that has a default value of zero. And also I am uh, using uh, 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 print words which is initialized with false. So based on that I will try to print the combination of logit with probabilities, right? So at first I am just normalizing uh, the value, normalizing the logits with uh, with the temperature and we are getting the probability out of it. Then we are kind of printing it based on the argument of print words and then we are doing a random sampling, right? So random sampling, we are selecting the indexes out of this uh, all the logits and we are also passing the probability which is like normalized using softmax, right? So this is we are passing as a parameter to my np.random.choice. Then we are getting a random sample index and based on that index we are selecting the probable next token or next word right so the same examples which i have showed in the previous slides i have using the same logits values and same tokens and now if i just uh, do it with the help of uh, temperature equals to zero and i am setting print words equals to true so you will see uh, the LLM with is the highest probability value, which is like 0 0.72. Next is NLP with a value of uh, 0 0.266 and N gram is the next probable, a uh, next uh, probable token with the next highest probability, right? And if I do a sampling out of it, it's most of the times you will get LLM as an output because it has the highest temperature and it has the highest probability when doing the sampling, it has the highest uh, probability to get selected, right? So now next I will try to see if I increase my temperature to the highest value of one and then we will try to uh, do the sampling, right? So I am uh, doing a loop through in a range of one to ten and uh, this is how the output looks like. So you will see like there is uh, some amount of uh, randomness which is involved here like 
uh, NLP is getting selected. Your Ngram is also selected. Your boy is also got selected and also the LLM, which has the highest probability that also got selected as a next token prediction. So this is how it looks like. So yeah, now let's get into the concept of uh, top P. OK, so uh, with top P, what we are doing is. So in case of top P, uh, we have the same setup where we are trying to predict what is my next token. And uh, so at first we will uh, get the logits, then using the plain softmax, we will normalize the values of my probabilities uh, and we will kind of sort based on the probabilities each of the tokens. Right, so this is how the output will look like based on the plain softmax based normalization and then sorting the values based on the probability. So the next step is to filter the token where cumulative probability exits uh, exceeds top P, right? So if my top P value is 0 0.9, if you are giving a parameter value of top P equals to 0 0.9, so here only these two tokens, right? LLM and NLP. The cumulative probability values for this two token is greater than or equals to 0 0.9, right? Uh, so those two tokens will be selected for random sampling. Then we need to recalculate the probability using softmax on the filtered token. So using the logit value of 9 and 8, we will again do a normalization of my probabilities and we will get a uh, different set of probabilities based on this, which is like uh, for LLM, the now the changed probability is 0.61 and for RLP, the change probability is 0 0.27 right now we will do the uh, random sampling on only this two token and it will kind of always uh, introduce a randomness while selecting uh, while selecting the next token or next word right so it can be some of the cases your llm will be uh, selected as a next token and some of the cases your nlp would be selected as a next token okay now let's go and check how the code implementation looks like for this so I will just share my uh, coding window. So in case of top P, as I mentioned, these are the steps where we kind of at first using the plain uh, logit values, we normalize using a softmax. Then we check the cumulative probability, which exceeds the top P. And based on that, we will select the tokens. And based on that, we will recalculate the probabilities and we will do the random sampling. So here, uh, here the function uh, is top p sampling here i'm passing logits words top p and the print words as in parameters so at first i am normalizing my logits to probabilities then based on the condition which i mentioned here uh, i am calling another function which selects the top p indexes here i am passing the normalized probability along with top p and it's getting called this function is getting called uh, and here what I am doing is I'm just sorting the probability uh, based on uh, sorting the indexes based on the probability value. Then I am just calculating. I'm selecting the tokens where the cumulative probability is uh, greater than equals to the top P, right? And whenever it is less than uh, top P, then I'm just breaking out uh, this function. So here we are kind of going in a different direction. So we are just at first checking if my cumulative probability is less than point P. So when it is less than uh, top P, we are kind of uh, selecting the indexes and we are uh, appending to this selected index uh, list and we are also incrementing my cumulative probability. So whenever it is till it is less than uh, 0, uh, 0 0.9 or the top P value, it will keep on doing this else. It will break out from the loop and it will return the selected indexes, right? So once it returns the selected indexes, what we can do is uh, we can uh, just loop through my selected indexes uh, words and the corresponding probability and we can print that, right? So once we print that, then we will do the random sampling based on the selected indexes and the top P probabilities. So as I men mentioned here also that we need to once we get the selected indexes, we also need to re normalize our probability using softmax. So softmax is getting 
cal, uh, called twice here inside this function one for using the plain uh, tokens and when we are selecting the tokens based on the top p then again you need to recalculate the probability based on the softmax right so if i select my top p equals to 0 0.9 and run this you will see these are the top p words with normalized probabilities and uh, the sampled word is 0.9. So if you keep on running this, you will get different uh, type of tokens for each run, right? Now let's go and check into the last concept of uh, top K, right? So which is uh, much more simpler to understand and it's much more easier to see what this is. So in top K, the setup is similar, like we get the tokens with the logits, then we kind of using the softmax, we normalize the probability values and sort sort the tokens based on the probability values. So all this is similar to the previous two, uh, like top P and temperature. Then what we do is we filter the top K tokens. So if I if I give the top K value equals to three, then it will select the top uh, three uh, tokens with the highest probabilities, right? So here LLM NLP is n gram, uh, which is like uh, sorted based on the probability. So these are the top three uh, tokens based on the probability values, right? And then again, we will need to recalculate the probabilities using softmax. And after that, we will get this probability values. So here the probability values for LLM with 0 0.47, the NLP is equals to 0 0.3 and for Ngram it is equals to 0 0.22. So, so one thing that is different in case of top P is, so if you look at this, like the Ngram started with a probability value of very low probability value, right? Which is like 0 0.0048 then, but after doing the uh, top case selection and then recalculating the probability, the probability got increased to 0 0.22. So here uh, the tokens with very small probability or very small logit value will have uh, will also have a higher chance of selection in case of uh, doing the random sampling. So then we will do the random sampling. So each of these tokens like LLM, NLP and Ngram uh, can be selected as a next token uh, prediction using uh, the top key equals to three, right? I hope you understand this concept. Now let's go and check how the code implementation looks. So the top case is much more simpler and it's most easiest to do. So here we have only one function. At first we are just normalizing the probability values using softmax. Then we select the indexes, right? We, we select the indexes based on the probability values. Um, and uh, and we sort those values and based on the top key, we select the top three or top K uh, indexes uh, out of this uh, equation, right? Out of this condition which I have given here. So once I got the selected index, then I renormalize my probabilities using softmax and we get the normalized top K probabilities. Then we do the similar thing. We ch uh, check the top K words and the top k probability values uh, based on the selection criteria and using this top k probability value which is like output of uh, the second softmax we do a random uh, selection of my next token and we get the random sample index so once we get the random sample index we will uh, select the word out of it so you see uh, here, uh, these are the output for uh, like when I select the top k equals to three and we pass the logits words and top k to the uh, top k sampling method, we get the next token as NLP and these are the normalized probability values for the top k tokens, right? So I hope this is uh, clear to you. So this is one of the very core concept which you need to be mindful of if you are working with the uh, LLM and when you are trying to get more creative results using LLM. So yeah, so that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and share this video if you like this with your friends. Thank you all.